So you want to start going to the gym. You're getting tired of how you look, looking into the mirror all the time and just seeing potential, seeing the fact that you can change your body, changing the way you look. You either want to be strong, you either want to have the aesthetic body, whatever it may be, you want to see change going on in your life. Every day you keep seeing yourself and you keep thinking, I look not as good as I should. I look like shit. Maybe you're 190 pounds and you're like 5'5". Five five. Maybe you're too fat, too skinny, you don't like how you look. And now you're saying, it's time to stop. It's time to start going to the gym. Time to get fucking swole. And you probably have uh, attempted to start going to the gym, but you can't just keep going consistently. It's like you go one day and then fuck, I don't feel like going. It's too rainy outside. I don't, it's cold too. I don't want to walk, but I want to keep going. Like you actually want to go to the gym, but for some reason your body just is not letting you. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can start going to the gym. And there might be some stuff in here that you haven't heard of, some stuff you're a little more familiar with. This is so important because when you see New Year's resolutions and stuff especially, you see people start going to the gym and then slowly you see less and less people in the gym over time. Um, at, my college, uh, at my college gym last year, I used to go to that one and what happened was that there would be so many people in the first, beginning of the first semester and second semester. And then after like two, three weeks, most people are gone. It's because they can't stay consistent. So we're gonna be talking about how you can be one of those people that stay in the gym and make tremendous, tremendous progress. So let's get on to it. There's gonna be three parts I wanna talk about in this video. The first one is going to be discipline skills. So how you can actually be disciplined and go to the gym every day as far as your routine goes, whether it's four times, five times a day. You always wanna go at least uh, three to four times a week. Uh, my bad, not a day, week. Um, so we're gonna go over discipline skills, how you can be disciplined, how you can actually end up going whenever you don't feel like going. Then we're gonna go over actual gym tactics you can use to make sure that you stay in the gym and exercise the best way possible. The third one is going to be completely about progressive overload, which I'm sure you've heard of this term before. If you haven't, that's fine. We're gonna be talking about that here in this video. So part one, building discipline. This is the most important one. If you can't build discipline, you're not gonna get the aesthetic body or you're not gonna win the powerlifting competition, whatever you wanna do. But for the sake of the convenience of the video, I'm just going to assume that you wanna build an aesthetic body. So we're gonna be talking about that here in this video. Building discipline is the most important thing in regards to going to the gym. In the beginning, there are so many times where people wanna to go to the gym and they can't just get themselves to go. So what should they do? The biggest advice I can give to those people, remove the distractions from your life. So whatever it may be, whatever it be, jacking off, getting on your phone too much, all these distractions, cut them off. Now that one's a little extreme. The easier ones I can talk about here, and that is to start going to the gym once a week. You only have to go one day a week. And this kind of goes in with progressive overload. Go to the gym one day a week. Who gives a fuck? Even if you say, oh, if I go one day a week, I'm not gonna make gains. That's not the point of the discipline phase. You're going to the gym once a week because you have to build in the discipline to go. So go to the gym, start off once a week, do that for like two, three weeks, right? <clears throat> and when you're there, it doesn't matter how long you're there, whether you're there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, that's fine. As a matter of fact, don't even think about lifting heavy weights. Yeah, I said it. You don't have to go to the gym in the beginning to get swole. You don't have to. If you have a disciplinary problem, this is not the time to start thinking about making gains. This is the time to where you need to solely focus on actually going to the gym consistently. And therefore, you're going to progressively overload. So you're going to start off slow once per week. And then you're going to go two times a week, three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, six times a week whatever that may be. This whole phase is just focused on getting you to the gym itself. So think about that sort of idea. And of course the distractions and removing those help with all other kinds of things, but that's also kind of a more extreme, uh, hard, more difficult way to actually end up going. And I wouldn't say it's entirely necessary, but just going once a week in the beginning and not even working out that hard helps. Now, if you want to start working out intensely, that's okay. But the only reason why I say that you should work out a lot lighter than usual is because 
<clears throat> whenever you start working out for the first month, whenever you start working out once or twice a week, you want to be leaving the gym with extra energy. Why do you want to have extra energy whenever you leave the gym? So then you don't feel entirely drained and feel weak and too weak to go the next day. So if you leave all hyped up and excited, that makes you more likely to go the next day. So if you were to be training really intensely and now you're tired as shit, why the fuck would you want to go through that again? Our brains are actively seeking pleasure. So this is the easiest, warmest way to get into the gym is by progressively overloading to get there. So you need to start off slow. Start off with light weights, go to maybe like 20 minutes, right? Maybe lift a couple of dumbbells, whatever that may be, doesn't matter, right? Just go for like 20 minutes, once a week. That's all you need to do, but start progressively overloading. That is the best way to start going to the gym. It's not even a matter of you wanna do it because let's be honest, when you start going to the gym, you're not always gonna wanna go, especially in the beginning. And then when you start seeing progress, it's like you definitely wanna go and it's actually enjoyable. But for now, for the sake of the beginning, don't focus on making games right now. Just focus on getting there and focus on being consistent with your schedule. So now we're gonna go over actual gym tactics, like what you can do to actually start making games at the gym. So by now I'm assuming that you are either already disciplined enough to start going, or you just really wanna learn how to actually make games. Like how do I, you know, get swole? Here's the big thing. I'm, we're not gonna be talking about pre-workout in this video at all. And honestly, whenever you start working out, it's okay. Pre-workout in general is never necessary, but especially whenever you start working out, it's not something that your body really needs, honestly. And you can definitely do without it. You really don't need it, honestly, because you have a thing called newbie gains whenever you start going to the gym. So here are the actual gym tactics. You need to build a workout split routine. So I made the big mistake when I started lifting is I started fucking around with the machines, doing curls and then dips like in the same day. And I did that for four months. I didn't have a workout routine for four fucking months. I was doing a bunch of bullshit workouts for four months. That definitely hindered my progress. You want to build a routine, but be careful. Whenever you build a routine, be flexible with it in the beginning. Because if you build a strict routine that you follow when you start working out, you're not gonna wanna do it. Remember, if you end up losing discipline on that stuff, that's a big thing, you need discipline. So if you think you need to, make sure the schedule is lenient enough for you. And that's also one thing I should have said about the discipline is, you need to make this gym time easy for you to get to. You need to fit in the gym as a part of your schedule that you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life. So building a workout routine definitely helps with that. Building a schedule, actually getting there and doing what you wanna do. So I know that you're gonna want an aesthetic body. So you're gonna wanna focus on muscles that focus on all the parts of a male aesthetic body. What you need to do here, as far as like which muscles you wanna work out, my workout routine, uh, I can link down below. I do a split of push, pull, legs, abs. Yes, I do abs because your abs are also a muscle and although they can only show if you have a little body fat percentage, if you want your abs to look more full, look a lot better, you're gonna have to work out your abs. Maybe it doesn't have to be once a week, it can be once every other week. Just make sure you work out your abs every now and then or your core area. And that honestly helps with all parts of your body. It can't, it doesn't just have to be your abs, right? Push, pull, legs, abs, right? So push would be triceps, shoulders, pecs. Pull day will also be shoulders, but it'll focus on my back and my biceps. Leg day is my glutes mainly and my quads, my calves a little bit too. And then of course you have your abs. What muscle groups do you actually wanna work out to build an aesthetic body? So what we know what an aesthetic body is, is basically a person that has a lot of muscle, but they have a low body fat percentage. And what this does is that it gives somebody the V taper. So essentially having like the V shape, which makes a man look so much more masculine. This is the equivalent to the hourglass shape of a woman. We love women that have thin weight or thin hips, wide waist, big breasts. It gives them the hourglass shape. We love that. Girls agree with the same thing. They want to see a man with the uh, upside down Dorito. That's what we want. We want to build the V taper. So what muscles do you actually want to work out to build this so-called V taper? So you want to start working out your upper chest. I hear delts, lats, biceps, triceps. These ones are so important, including the neck. Yes, you need to work out your neck. Work out your neck at least twice a week. 
I see so many guys that look absolutely jacked and they have like shitty nets. Like their nets are so tiny. If like, if you cropped a picture of them, they literally would look like a skinny person. Working out your neck makes you look so much more masculine. I'm gonna show you pictures of Mike Tyson right now. This guy has the biggest fucking neck ever. Like you just, you don't even see his body. You can already tell this guy's jacked as fuck. It is important to work out your neck. The neck exercise I do is neck curls. I'm gonna show you right here. Uh, they're really, really helpful of building out that aesthetic body. Neck, shoulders, lats, pecs, delts. Biceps and triceps are, they help. I would say they help, but they're not necessary. I would say as far as the V taper goes, the lats are very important to build. And so are the delts. Honestly, all of these are just aesthetic muscles to start working out. And as far as legs, um, I would focus on the glutes the most because they make you look the most uh, fulfilled as far as your aesthetic body goes. Because if you're aesthetic, like you have like the V taper, but your ass is kind of fine, it looks a little weird. So as far as legs go, I would primarily focus on the glutes and the quads. You can do a little bit of calves, of course, but I would focus mainly on the glutes. That's probably the most important part of your legs, I would say, as far as building an aesthetic body. But of course, girls aren't gonna like really care that much about your legs. All they care about is that you work out your legs. And you might be thinking about the argument, well, I don't care about girls. I wanna do this for myself. Uh, we can talk about that video like separately. But right now, those are the muscle groups that you wanna work out to build an aesthetic body. Those are some of the gym tactics and the most important ones. So we've already talked about building a routine, building the aesthetic body. The third one is getting plenty of rest. If you are not going to sleep at before 10 p.m., you need to get on your shit immediately. Honest to God, like especially people my age who are 20 years old, dude, you can't be staying up until 1 a.m. playing fucking Fortnite. You can't do that shit. This routine is not going to let you, you're, I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna make gains in the gym if you don't get good sleep. Sleep is vital. You absolutely need good sleep. Now, there is a saying that goes around that says you need eight hours. Eight hours of sleep is like the minimum. I don't entirely agree with that. Now, the reason why is because a lot of people's bodies operate differently. You cannot sleep six hours, I'm sorry. Like, although your body can operate, you're not gonna make fucking games. I would say for the average man, a minimum is eight hours. Seven and a half hours if you have something very important to do and you gotta wake like something late, right? That's important. At least try to aim for eight hours though. Eight hours is the like optimized routine. Also, one other thing is that when I first started working out, I started working out in the evening. My uh, challenge to you is to start working out in the morning. Now, of course, in the discipline phase, you might wanna work out whenever the hell you want. But whenever you wanna start building an actual routine, I would recommend going in the morning time because the morning is so good to work out in. You already have the discipline to start going in the morning. You already feel good. You feel like you're making progress during the day. You feel more productive. And of course you can eat and everything afterwards and you feel a lot more fulfilled after you're done eating. So to go over whatever we established, the actual gym tactics I recommend is to build a workout routine, push, pull, abs, legs, or whatever workout routine you wanna do. Focus on the muscles you wanna grow. And specifically we're talking about the aesthetic body. So we're talking delts, lats, upper chest, that area, right? The neck get plenty of rest and find a time that works best for you. But I highly recommend you go in the morning. So now we're going to be talking about the last thing in this video, and that is progressive overload. So I've talked about progressive overload uh, previously in my last few videos of working out and progressive overload is the essential way to make gains in the gym, especially whenever you start losing your newbie gains. Because as soon as you start leaving, losing your newbie gains, you're gonna really need to push yourself to start building muscle. And it's gonna need a little be a little bit more technical as far as building muscle goes. But progressive overload is this idea, like I said before in the discipline, is that you basically wanna start off small and grow big over time. So specifically here, we're gonna be talking about weights. So you're gonna wanna start adding weight over time because you're gonna end up getting stronger over time. And the only way you can start pushing yourself is by building muscle, by adding weight, by putting more pressure on your muscles. The way your muscles grow is that fibers of your muscle begin to tear and they begin to stretch and then they begin to repair back. And the only way they can start doing that is by adding weight because that's going to end up becoming easy over time because your muscles are bigger. So you're going to need to add weight so then those muscle fibers can actually tear and repair back. 
That's what progressive overload is all about. It helps maintain muscle building. Protein is a really, is really, really good to help with uh, building muscle. It's helping maintain muscle. So protein on a diet is really good. And we can talk about diet in another video. But progressive overload is the most important thing to do as far as building muscle goes. Also, one other thing is that after you're done in the disciplinary phase, you should never have an easy workout. I know I've said before, you only need to go once a week. You only need to like lift light weights. That's to get disciplined. If you're disciplined already and you're going to the gym, you cannot have an easy day. You should never ever go and do a workout and think, oh, this is the easy one. And just start doing dips like fucking really fast. Like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. You should be fucking scared before you do a workout. Like, for example, if you're doing a bench press or whatever, you're like, fuck man, I'm gonna be able to actually make this. You should be making involuntary noises. Now you don't need to fucking be, you don't need to be that stupid motherfucker that does that in the gym. But if you don't start making involuntary noises like, Ugh. you know what I mean? Or some sort of uh, stuff to let your pain out, some sort of vocalness to let your pain out, you're not working out hard enough. That's the entire, and like, if you're not struggling, if you're not like weak after your workout, it's gonna be harder to make progress. Progressive overload, guys. Think about this, pain today, growth tomorrow. Pain today for growth tomorrow. The only way you can grow and get big is by going through the pain. So, so important. So a little bit about my fitness journey. I actually, it's, I've been working on for a year now. So it was actually a couple days ago, I went through my one year anniversary of going to the gym. And honestly, the progress that I have made going for only one year is fucking phenomenal. It's actually crazy. The fact that I've been consistent for one year and I've already gained so much progress in the gym is absolutely amazing. Guys, this journey is so worth it. Now, you might be thinking, is this gonna help me get girls? Like, is this whole workout routine even gonna help me? Like, girls are gonna fucking cream over you if you have an aesthetic body. I know that it's, oh, it's all about personality, bro. Build the aesthetic body first, see what happens. I, I still have Tinder, I'm a fucking loser for having it. But ever since I build an aesthetic body, I have went from, when I before I started lifting, I went from like five likes every two weeks to having 99 plus likes in the span of like not even a week. I'm not fucking kidding. Like this aesthetic body routine, it helps. Going to the gym helps. It helps with your mental health, your physical health. People will respect you more. You will feel confident about yourself and girls will love you so much more because it shows that you're disciplined. Your body, your stead body shows how much work you've put in. Is that not for you? They say, I don't wanna work out for women, I wanna do it for myself. Bro, is this shit not for you? You're going to be so grateful that you've built an aesthetic body and now you just feel so much better about how you look. I had such bad confidence problems. I actually looked pretty good in high school and then as soon as I left, it started to look like shit. And that fucked with my confidence. Now I can finally say I have not looked any better in my life. And it feels so good. I can't even describe how happy I am now that I have this aesthetic body. It's worth it, man. This whole journey is so good. And I wish that for you. If you need any more advice on exercising, please let me know. We all should start going to the gym, being happy, meeting people at the gym to work out with, building relationships, learning about physical and mental health. Guys, this journey, if you're start just starting to work out, you're in for a ride, a fun ride. I am so glad that you're working out, for real. It, it's gonna be so awesome for you. That's it, guys. See you guys on the next video.